I've come up with a new idea for a TV show. Okay. Okay, and it's called either Revival or Rock Revival. You could have a, have a show where you recreate a, a group from one of the great bands of the 60s, 70s, or 80s, or even 90s. Don't they have that with tribute bands? Like, can't you just go to some, you know, chillers on Tuesday, Thursday, Thirsty Thursday and see a tribute to the birds? Well, but see, that isn't the idea. The idea is it's a contextual thing, that you put people back in that time. And then you find these young kids who are about the same age as they were when they were hip and say, you have McGuinn there helping to pick and assemble these people. So you have like Jimmy Page and Robert Plant, and then you have young musicians coming, auditioning to be them, and they're going to go back and actually do Led Zeppelin songs. Right. In other words, and, and, and they can do them exactly the way Led Zeppelin did them, or do their own take on them. So there's no like people calling in to vote. It's purely like, like if Page and Plant are there, they're, they're like deciding who's going to be... No, the, there'd be... Well... Well, that, but the voting becomes, now you've assembled these four groups, and they're having the battle of the bands over a two-week period. Right. And now, everybody then gets to vote on who they want to win. Wait, the, then America gets to vote. Yeah. Now, say after the band is created, they give them, like, authentic clothing, they play vintage guitars and amps. Yeah. Just like the band. There are stories behind all these instruments, and, all, and there are just so many stories to go around. So the show would be, first, you have contestants coming up and, like, you know, like, like, like American Idol almost auditioning and going through songs. Then they make the band, then there's a whole other segment of the show where you see the mentoring of the selections. By yeah, the, and, even, and they're going through that mentoring even as they're trying to find right, it. Right, they're trying to find it. And then when they find it, there's a whole section of just straight up mentoring of like preparing them yeah. for like like a big show. And not only that, you only have a limited number of numbers. And okay. so what you want to do is go through the entire album complex and say, which ones are we going to, you know, let's figure this out. We have the band, we have the mentoring, we have the songs, then what? And then you have a big competition. I mean, where would you hold that? Like Staples Center or something? Yeah, yeah. And, and then you had like all the yeah. mentors there yeah. at the same time. And then yeah. just imagine if like everyone got on stage at the end. You have Jimmy Page and Robert Plant come out and literally join the young group that they formed. How would you pay everybody? I mean, it would to get to get all these, you know, to get like Daltrey and Townsend and I think you McCartney say and Star and. Does Paul McCartney really need another 500000 I don't well, think so. Well, I guess, too, for them, it's a chance to keep the legacy going. Because, like, if you're creating a new NSYNC and you're creating a new Beatles, then NSYNC fans can, you know, who are tuning into the show can get exposed to Beatles and vice that's versa. Right. I mean, there could be Beatles fans that would love NSYNC. And see, that's part of the thing when you have the final battle of the bands is okay, you have to think about it differently. We're not only playing to our fans. We're trying to play to get the most votes. You could have even like a challenge where you go, okay, you have to play one of our songs. You have to, For next week, you have to cover one of our songs. <laughs> oh, you mean like another band covers another band's songs? <laughs> you, or you have like Led Zeppelin as in sync. Yeah. So isn't that crazy? So you have like, like, like the, the, the page... Plant, John Paul Jones, John Bonham coming out doing dance steps, right? <laughs> They're coming out doing in sync choreography. Well, I don't know whether they have to do all of that because I mean, that well, they would have to if they're doing if they're doing one <laughs> because in sync is not just singing; it's dancing and show. I would allow the group who got challenged to pick what song they want to do, so that may make it a little easier for them. But I mean, every in sync song <laughs> has dancing in it. Okay, but now, so who is going to cover the Jimmy Page thing from the NSYNC guys? They, they can't. I mean, see, that's another thing, because NSYNC guys, except for maybe JT, 
can't play any instruments. Right. So, so in a way, it's 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 unfair. It's like like what if you take the new Shao Nu Sure Die, and you have them cover like a Who song? Who, who's going to do the Keith Moon parts? You couldn't have an all girl group with an all guy. So I'd have to figure that out. So so yeah. maybe it would have to be like, would be like a different genre chan- challenge. Genre. Well, there would be, yeah, maybe a genre challenge. Genre challenge. Like like you could have like like the Who band cover a Stone song, a vice versa, and then you could do like 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 the in sync band could do Diana Ross and the Supremes. Or you could have another type of challenge too. You could say you could have a time challenge. That is. You have to play a song from the '60s, and we have to play a song from the '90s. Oh wow! So you have like the Led Zeppelin band doing like a Nirvana song, like a well, yeah, like a Nirvana song. You get to see people getting challenged. I mean, with things that they normally don't do. And what if what if Robert Fripp and Adrian Ballou are trying to coach the new kid leader on how to do? On how to do their stuff. You, you you could even modify it a little bit more, like for season two, you could say, "Oh, by the way, you get to have Adrian actually play with Kid Leader on that song." Oh wow! See, so you'd have Adrian Blue and the new Kid Leader, the Kid Leader coached by Kid Leader. Yeah. C- coached by Adrian Blue playing playing the the King Crimson riff. Yeah. Would the new kid leader be in Shao Nu Sure Die clothes, or would they be in like King Crimson clothes? I'd give them the option. Or come up with something in between, a mixture of both. This is our take on it. This is the way we would have done it. So, so you would actually get a metamorphosis of Shao Nu Sure Die and King Crimson. Or another twist you could do on it would be say that you have. The instrument-based groups and the vocal-based groups. Well, that's exactly what we talked about because Shao Nu Sure Die is vocal-based. Well, King no, but what you do is so you have two divisions. Okay. And then at the end, the two instrument bands take on the two vocal bands. Well, the thing that's great about this idea is it can go in so many directions. You get history, you get music, you get entertainment. Yeah. Um, you Life get, lessons. Here's another thing. Here's another thing. What about this? What if the mentors occasionally step in to other groups and become a member for like an episode? Or you give them the ability to draft in one person into their band for that special show. And so they go, okay, I'm going to draft Keith Richards. He's coming in for this show. So so you can draft anybody. You can draft anybody. All you have to do is get them on the show. Like 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 okay like say you're in the um you're in the Van Halen creation band, right? You're in the Van Halen creation band, and you get an in sync challenge. So you have an in sync challenge. You need to get some moves. So you draft Kid Leader into your band for that week to to do the moves. Yeah. Sure. The mentor kid leader, not the created kid leader. Exactly. It's like the ultimate mashup because you, you have a band creating a band, mentored by the band they're creating, who could occasionally draft a mentor from another band, mentoring wait, wait, you a take, band like, like John them, Mayer. You and, then say, doing a, and then doing a challenge of a whole other band. Yeah, you can say, look, we, we drafted in John Mayer to help our challenge this week. How big would it be? It would be the, again, it would be the biggest show on TV. That's my billion-dollar idea for this week. 